Signature I back the blue van shoe right there. What you saying? You gotta censor me. What you saying about my shoe? The shoe that I called the police. That is the thin blue line van right there. That's the. I'm calling the cops right now. I'm filming you van right there. Is that the best you got about my shoes? <laughs> Skateboarding is a crime van right there. <laughs> You got on to get off my property. I'm calling the cops. So words were said, uh, feelings were hurt, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be changing the laces on these shoes, and <laughs> I'm gonna be painting over the blue line. <laughs> yeah, my my feelings are important. So I didn't expect to buy these shoes. I was hiking in these boots. They're very uncomfortable, and then. I got to the skate park in a different town and realized I didn't have any skate shoes in my vehicle. So I had to purchase these. They're really lightweight. They have an interesting sole. It's pretty grippy. They're kind of narrow. My foot does hang over on the side a little bit. And the worst thing about them is the heel back here actually rubbed my heel until it became very red. So I might actually have to cut that off. Do you guys... You guys see the rabbit down there? It's just kind of hanging out. So it's got a lot of mesh, but it is suede in the right places, so it's not going to rip immediately. It's got suede where you're going to flick, and it's got some leather and suede here where you're going to ollie. So I think it's going to hold up. The insole is one of those really thin, like nothing insoles. Um, and the shoe's still kind of thick when you take it out, so you can't really put a thicker insole in it. The laces are those really thick laces that you used to see in like 2003. It kind of reminds me of a shoe from 2003. It reminds me of a child shoe, but for adult sizes. So I cut the Vans logo off on both sides and they feel so much better. You can kind of see where it was rubbing my heel before, but I don't need all that to hold it on. I wore these and skated them for one day before cutting this off and it kind of did that. Now it's not a big deal, it doesn't hurt that bad, but you know, I don't think a product should do that. They were tight, like they're snug. They shouldn't be moving up and down. It was just that this was kind of pointed in and kind of poking at my at my heel when I was skating. So it feels so much better without those. So you can tell this is a cheaper skate shoe. If this is even considered a skate shoe, I don't know if they consider this a skate shoe or just like a hanging out chill shoe. Um, Cause it does feel really flimsy, but it, that makes it really comfortable. I could see myself hiking or just like going about my day with this, but it does have really good grip. But it does have really good grip. It feels really grippy on the grip tape, very light. I kind of think I'm gonna really like this shoe. It's very thin and flexible. It's not something I would have ever bought unless I absolutely needed something. I couldn't find anything better than this on sale in that town. I don't think it's gonna hold up that great. The more I look at it and skate it, it's pretty flimsy, light. So we're at the skate park, it's actually empty and I'm ready to test these shoes out. I did them at a bigger skate park yesterday, but I didn't film anything because I was being one of those cool guys that goes to the skate park just to skate. And it's like, no, I'm cool. I don't film YouTube videos. What are you talking about? I'm not a YouTuber. Psh. People are coming up left and right like, hey, you're a YouTuber, right? I, I saw you, I saw you on YouTube one time. I was like, I was basically like Peter when he said, hey, Jesus, I won't deny you three times before the rooster crows. I was like, whoa, Whoa, man, you didn't see me. Man, I'm not a, I'm not a YouTuber. What are, you t what are you talking about? Had a little devil like on my shoulder saying, lie to them, tell them falsehoods. <laughs> you are not a YouTuber. Actually, I'm proud of being a YouTuber. I'm just making content. I like being a YouTuber. I'm not ashamed of being a YouTuber. I just didn't film anything because I was super busy. I did a photo shoot at the skate park yesterday. So something cool happened yesterday that made me believe in humanity once again. So I left my camera, the A6700 and this Viltrox 27 millimeter F1.2. Here's the camera. It's about $2,000 with that lens. I left that at a skate shop and then I went to LaGrange to skate with a professional skateboarder that was in the area. I got a phone call. I had to go there. As soon as I got to the skate park, I looked around my car and I realized my camera is not in the car. 
So the first thing I did was I called the skate shop and said, hey guys, did you find my camera there? I left it sitting on the clearance shoes and the girl on the phone said, yeah, the manager of the shop knows who you are. He watches your YouTube channel. So we got it behind the counter here for you. So there are perks of being a YouTuber. You know, the manager of a skate shop knows who I am. He wrote me a message on Instagram and said, hey man, I've got your camera here. But basically it was just really cool. I'm glad there are still really good people in the world like that who don't want to steal a $2,000 camera. They'd rather just give it back to who it rightfully belongs. That really made my day. So this actually feels a lot like those Hey Dude shoes or like a surf shoe like the bands used to make. Super thin and flexible. So yeah, it actually is a perfect day out here. It's cool, but sunny, so I'm surprised that there's absolutely nobody at the skate park today. So when I said that I had to run back to the skate shop, that skate shop was in a different town, and it took me, you know, an hour out of the way. So I did miss skating with the professional skateboarder who was Judd Heald from Untitled Skateboards. My friend John did get to skate with him and go to church with him though. I had to drive back to the skate park. I had to spend my hour driving back to the skate shop and then getting the camera so that I could go do that photo shoot. That was the reason I was there. I have skated with Judd Hill before. He's pretty good. So yeah, I don't regret buying these. I regret not putting my skate shoes in the car and having to buy them, but I don't regret buying them because I had to. I needed something comfortable. I needed something to skate in. I couldn't skate in those boots. And they seem decent. I think they're gonna stretch out a little bit and then maybe I'm gonna be rolling over off the side a little bit. So hopefully I can wear the sole down before they stretch out so that they don't like roll my ankle or something. There's not a lot of support. It's a very thin, flexible, soft shoe. Almost feels like a barefoot running shoe or something like from New Balance. I really wasn't planning on perfectly matching my shoes today, but you know, it works. I don't know how people go through the day without working on a YouTube video for any other YouTube channels. Like it's so much fun, it's so fulfilling, but there are people that have never made a YouTube video before. I feel like I don't go through a day without making at least something for one of my channels. So am I gonna do the same tricks I do in every single video? Absolutely I am, but in different shoes. These shoes are different. They're almost exactly the same as my other shoes. So I always feel like this with new shoes. But especially today, I feel like I'm a little bit timid. You know, I'm not really throwing down any hard tricks. I haven't done any tray flips or anything. Cause I do feel like with new shoes, they have like a potential to roll your ankle where they're kind of thick. I feel like these could roll over and pop my ankle out of place. Cause they are kind of thick on the bottom. They haven't been worn down yet. And there's really not a ton of support. So if you did land on the side of your ankle, you probably could roll your ankle in these. I feel like my foot, even though it's snug, it kind of feels like it could move around a little bit because it's just such a soft shoe. It's kind of like having a sock. I saw a bird fly into the cloud and just disappear. It might rain. Looks like it, it's possible that it could rain anytime now. It's coming up here right above me. So overall, this shoe's doing pretty good. It feels like a normal skate shoe. It's lightweight and breathable, good summer shoe. So I'm really liking it. I've been skating street and skating in a different skate park. And so far, so good. So I've been wanting to try these Spitfire 93s at this skate park. So we're at a different skate park to test these shoes out. And I'll see what the wheels feel like over here at this park. It's a little bit rougher. We're at Woodland Skate Park. So if you guys are keeping up with my board madness and board journey that's where we are and that's what we're doing so this is my flicking foot and as you can see there's really not a lot of wear on there of course i did cut the heel off you know what i'm not going to be able to sell these actually nobody's going to buy these why did i do that have you ever noticed some people are just more athletically inclined than others some people can just run out of tricks super easy uh, things that would cause others to fall Making YouTube videos is so useful. Even if you don't make any money ever, even if you don't intend on ever making a dollar on YouTube, making YouTube videos keeps you on track. 
it helps you it helps you look at your skating and improve your skating and think about what you're doing wrong especially if you talk out loud about your skating and explain it on video and then watch that back it helps you so much you can grow as a skater and as a person so it was really sad going to the skate park that i used to skate at today because i saw two different people that i used to skate with who in the last few years have become a homeless people and drug addicts the guys at the skate park were saying that this guy i used to be friends with now he walks around every day and asks people for i don't think i can say that on youtube um, for substances and for money uh, so another guy i used to skate with i saw him he was homeless and he was writing poetry with another homeless guy they had a whole book of poems that they were writing I guess that's kind of cool like if you have to be homeless you might as well be a poet I mean you got a lot of free time so most skateboarders I've noticed are a certain kind of guy a lot of them don't really like to film or talk on the internet they're not very in touch with their emotions some of them don't really know how they feel like if you were to ask them how they feel about something they're not very political usually they're very simple at least around here at this park a lot of the skateboarders are very simple simple-minded guys and they don't want to have to do anything that they don't have to do so if we consider sam Tabor a hand boarder and a mountain biker and a professional singer i'm probably the most viewed skateboarder in my state but besides sam probably the most viewed skateboarder so we're talking about watch time and hours i guess we would say second would be john clemens he's a pro for darkroom but if you take all the views from all of his skate parts on thrasher and every instagram clip my view time would be a lot higher but the thing is around here there's not a lot of skateboarders like me and there's probably not a lot of skateboarders like you they're all like a certain kind of guy they're interested in being accepted by their peers they're interested in feeling cool around here it seems like nobody really wants to do anything with their skateboarding and nobody really wants to do anything in general a lot of the skateboarders at this skate park don't have jobs a lot of them do substances so my advice to you guys is definitely get a job if you're old enough to have a job get a job and even if you don't need the money like even if you even if you don't have bills or anything get a job and save money because you're going to need the money in this economy and if it continues on the track that it's on right now you're really going to need the money just for groceries and just to survive so get a job avoid any kind of substances anything that's dangerous any alcohol there's nothing good about alcohol at all it's not going to lead to anything positive you guys have to start thinking about the future you got to start thinking about the road that your decisions are taking you down it was just really hard to see people that i used to skate with people who are good at skating turn into homeless people and not make it like this guy's incoherent he's not making any sense he's killed a lot of brain cells for sure and i couldn't have a conversation with the guy he's pretty far gone on that path towards full-on homelessness and homelessness is a choice at first but you have to make that decision early on because nobody thinks they're going to be homeless nobody thinks they're going to get divorced nobody thinks they're going to go to jail it starts with a million little decisions that lead you towards that so you got to start making good decisions at a young age when you're young everybody thinks they're 10 foot tall and bulletproof and it's going to happen to him it's going to happen to her but it won't happen to me but those small decisions really build up and eventually get to the point where there's no turning around i know it's nice to think oh there's always a second chance 
but you've had more than a second chance you've had you've had millions of chances every second is a second chance and you didn't take any of those chances with that sort of thing that these guys are involved in you do get to a point where there's no turning around because you have damaged your body you've damaged your brain cells and there's no turning around at that point all right so i know i changed my mind about selling the 93a spitfire formula fours in that last video but i am actually going to sell them i'm gonna have them listed in the description below so they'll be on ebay buy them i know i talked bad about them on youtube but every other person on YouTube talked really good about them, so maybe you'll like them more than I did. So making YouTube videos has really kept me on track. I never got into alcoholism or any of that sort of thing. It gives me structure, and I know I have to be at the skate park. I know I have to try. It pushes me to skate harder and do tricks even when I don't feel like it. Like there might be a day where I'm sore, I don't feel like skating, but I feel like I need to make a YouTube video that day, it's gonna push me to try a little harder than I would if I didn't have a YouTube channel. And I think one of the reasons why I still get to skate every day and why I still skate as much as I do is because I have a YouTube channel. So join the dark side. Don't be afraid to be this kind of skateboarder because being this kind of skateboarder is fun. It's a really good time. None of that matters. Just be friendly and talk to people anyway. It doesn't really matter what other people think. Just be yourself. I just always try to be honest, open, friendly, nice to everybody at the skate park. Treat everybody the same. Treat everybody the way I would want to be treated. And if somebody's treating you badly, just continue to treat them good. And eventually they will come around. So yeah, I actually think the shoes are working really great. I was able to do kick flips and 360 flips and nothing felt off. They felt broken in right away. They don't feel stiff. They feel like slippers or house shoes. Maybe they won't hold up for a long time, but I was able to skate normal right away. And you can't really say that about every shoe. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.